Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. My name is Will. Um, today's project is going to be a pen project. So what you're going to see me make today is this little guy here. So it's a piece of oak and um, the top part is from a spent um, bullet casing. So which is basically just one of these. It's a silver one and I have a brass one as well, so I'm going to use the silver one. I have another silver kit. So this is just a streamline kit, similar to a slimline kit. It's probably one of the cheapest pen kits you can get out there. So um, I'm going to crack on. So I'll just throw this to one side. And the piece of wood I'm going to use is a little piece of um, elm bar. I've already drilled it and put the sleeve in, but I have another one here I can drill just to show you. Anyone that's new to pen turning, how it's done. Just stick that in the four jaw chuck. What you will need is a uh, Jacob's chuck and seven a little bit. I always drill at around 500 RPM, which is loads. So just advance the drill a bit in slowly and just, re just retract it and keep the swarf clear of the drill bit every, every half inch or so. there. Yeah, I think I'm going to the other side now. So there we have it, a hole drilled. So now what we're going to do is glue in the little tube that comes with your pen kit. So I've already just uh, scuffed it down with a little bit of sandpaper just so as it sticks in. So I'll just grab the glue. Just use this little guy here. I'm using a medium CA. Which is nearly empty. I think I have enough in it. So I just put two beads on. And just twist it all the way in. another tiny little bit there I see a tiny little void the drill bit just waddled in the hole a bit sometimes happens and same the other side so, now. so I'll just hit it with a little activator So now what we need to do is trim the ends of the blank down to the bushings. So this is just a quick homemade little thing I made. So this is what's called a bar barrel trimmer. So I have just seen a cordless drill. So I'm just going to take this down just nice and slowly. So just down to the bushing there. So I have a little bit further to go on this one. I cut the blank a little bit long. So now, here we go. So I get rid of this. So I can get rid of this chuck now for the minute. I will need the chuck for to drill out the the old bullet casing. 
but for now we don't. So just gonna pop in the pen mandrel. These are the little seven mil bushings that come with it. That's the rabbit hole of making pens. Every different style of pen you make usually always requires a different set of bushings and different size drill bits. And in some pen cases it's two size bushings and two drill bits. But for this it's just a standard streamline one so it just requires the 7 mil that comes with the pen mandrel. So now, we get this turned. There's not much turning on it. made a boo boo there. I forgot I need the wider bushing because it's a streamline kit. Center band is wider than the bottom so put it back in. Now back on track. Now what I'm going to use turn is just a little um, three quarter inch continental spindle, spindle gouge. And I always turn pens around um, 2000 RPM or 2200. Now I'm down near enough to, sh to the size I want. So at this stage now I would be checking to see if there's any little cracks and I do. There's a couple of tiny little voids, I don't know if the camera's picking it up. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pop a little layer of CA glue on that. Because it is, it is a little piece of burl. So I'm just going to use a little bit of tin CA. It's nearly dry already. So now, continue turning. As I said there's not much turning in it. So just nice and slowly take it down to the bushing. I'll worry about the shape of it now in a minute. As I say, I'll get it down to the bushing on both sides first and then I can blend it in. This. this is the nib of the pen, so this is the seven mil, and I think this one is up near, near eight or nine mil. So. Once I'm happy enough I'm down to the bushings, then I'll blend in the two shapes. The two shapes so. something like that and then I've just freshly sharpened the skew so I'll just give it a little tiny scrape stop and check tiny little lip just here I can feel it on my nail and this side is perfect Just take another tiny bit off. So now that's down to the size I want and the shape I want. And this skew I just um, freshly raised the bore on it so you can see it's just taken off just that little dust. I want to get this as smooth as I can off of the tool because I don't want to be starting to sand with high grit papers because I find it just a pain. Now this is just my way of doing it. I like to try and start at um, 240 or 320 if I can. So I'm just going to grab some sandpaper. So now I just have a bit of sandpaper. So I'm going to start off with um, 320 because as I said I got it pretty smooth. I'm just trying to speed down a little bit. That's a bit high. So 
it's about 1200 there so loads so keeping the sandpaper moving So now I'm just going to sand, I was going to say sand with the grain, but the grain is all over the place in this because of swirls and knots and but we'll just go this way. Just to take off any radial lines that the sandpaper has put in it. So now that's the 320, so I'm going to use a bit of um, 400 next. As I said, this was a little bit of burning on. Now I'm up to a little bit of 600. And keeping the sandpaper moving at all times. So now I'll just go up to grain again. So now I'm happy with that. So the little yellow scotch right pad. Perfectly smooth. So I'll just give it a little clean from alcohol. You can see what dirt came off of from sanding. So now I'm just going to apply some sanding sealer. brought out all the beautiful grain in the piece of wood. I don't know if the camera is picking it up or not. Here it is. Remove another little bit. There's loads of different finishes you can put on pens but I just want to keep it simple for today. Just sanding sealer and some microcrystalline wax. I used to always go with CA finish and lacquer finishes and I don't bother anymore unless it's a really high end pen. So now that's dry so I'm just with the little yellow scotch bright pad I'm just going to denib that and get a little bit of wax on it. That will just rub off any little bits of raised grain. So for a finish, um, this is microcrystalline, microcrystalline wax stick from Hampshire Sheen or Pen Turner's Overcoat, whatever you want to call it. So lead is running only about six or seven hundred RPM. So just put a nice little coat on, wax, like that. Just little piece of clean paper towel. Just bring the speed up. And just nice and nice and gentle touch, just lightly buff it in. Don't overheat the wax or you'll melt it off and you'll get streaks in it. So it's nice and gentle, just keeping the paper towel moving. See the beautiful shine coming up already on it. So very little pressure, just barely touching the tips of my fingers. Just polishing that wax in. And the microcrystalline wax is resistant to fingerprints and it's it's splash proof as well, so it's a really good wax for a pen. I've never had any complaints from it yet. Yeah, there we go. Lovely shiny finish.
No, get this off of the mandrel. No. Little piece of Ellen bar. So now on to the next stage. So the top of the pen, as we said, was going to use this um, bullet casing. So this is the center bushing from the pen. So as you can see, it's quite bigger, quite a bit bigger than the top. So I have to trim it down a bit. So what I did was I just put it into my um, pen jaws and my chuck and with my parting tool, I just cut it off. So this now is just perfect for there. So what I have to do now is drill the top of the pen for to take um, the clip. So I'm going to do that now. Just putting a piece of paper towel over it not to scuff it up any more than it is. up the tail stock just to make sure that's lined up okay and it is so I'm just going to show you how easy it is to, to cut them so I know by eyeing up the other one I made so I know roughly how far I need to go so just with the parting tool just nice and easy because it's only brass if you cut it quite simple take the tail stock away now because I'm nearly through. Yeah, there it goes. And that is perfect. So just bring in the tail stock. Just push the tail stock in with the pointed center just into it just to make sure that the surface is nice and round or the hole is nice and round that it didn't go over or anything. So which is good. So now just flip it around. So again, Jacob's chuck. Uh, we need a seven mil drill bit again. So now this is a a high speed um, drill bit for steel. So again I want to drill around 5-600 rpm. So again I drill quite easy. It's only it's only brass. Now I'm finished with this. So there's our hole drilled and he's cut to the right length. So now we have the two parts of our pen now prepared. So we shall put it together um, in the kit. So I'll just grab the pen press. I have this um, pen press, but you you don't need one of these. For years, this is what I used, little bushel, and the other in the tailstock, and use them to press. Use your lathe. Don't waste your money like me on one of these contraptions. So, we start off by putting um, the nib in the smaller end. The only good thing about this contraption is um, if you mess up a pen it has the ability to disassemble a pen which sometimes can be a pain to do. So now this is the little transmission so he goes in next. Let's just try the nib before I go any further. So 
don't want to push it too far in. So as you can see, the nib needs to come out another tiny little bit. So we'll give it another half a tap. So there we go, just right. So the next thing is the center band. Right, so that's that piece done. So next we have is our little bullet casing. And we have the top and the clip. So as you can see, it's way too big. So we're going to glue the sleeve. The sleeve is just right because we drilled a seven, seven mil hole there. So that's going to glue in there. So what we're going to do first is press, press the clip and the cap onto the tube. But what I forgot to do was just um, scuff this up a little bit. So I'll do that now. Just so the glue sticks to it. is pushed into the sleeve. So now we get rid of this. So sleeve then we'll just go in there like that. So I will be putting a little bit of glue on that. So as you can see there is a bit of movement in it. It's not quite lining up. So I need to have that in the center. See the way it's moving around. So what I do is just a little cocktail stick and I just break it and just push it in just to keep that centered. And then glue it. So if that makes any sense to you, just to keep it in the center. See the way it's in the center now? So, so what I would do is Put the glue on here. I'm not going to do it now because it'll take me a couple of minutes just to get it set up. So put your glue on here, push it in. So just gluing that into the cap. Just get something to hold that in the center. What I use is I'll use some little some five minute epoxy and I won't use CA glue on it. So if you look there, the little cocktail stick is just holding it in the center till the glue goes off. And then basically it just goes together like that. And there you have your pen. So obviously that'll be centered. So a nice way of using up an old bullet casing. There's the, the finished article. So when you want to change, so you can see that one was glued in nice and straight. Now, that's this one just finished, and that's the one I made earlier. I said I have a, I have a brass one, and I cut that and make it. I might put a use a obviously I'll use a gold coloured kit for that one. Maybe a different colour piece of wood as well. So a good way of using up your old bullet casings. So anyway, hope you're able to get something from this, and um, if you don't mind, hit the subscribe, hit the like, and share and. All the usuals and leave me a comment. Um, I'd like to know what you think of my, my, my videos and my, my pieces. Um, and I shall catch you on the next one. So take care everyone. Bye for now.